Manfred Ng, uh, winemaker extraordinaire here at Quirchibella. Um, just going to run us through the change in the type of biodynamics that's happened here since 2010. So basically since 2010 we've had an evolution from strict biodynamics to a plant-based biodynamics and this is following the owner's philosophy and um, for those of you who are not familiar with Sebastiano, he's a big animal rights activist, he's the only Italian who sits on the board of Sea Shepherd and in 2010 Sebastiano came along and just said no more animal products whatsoever so obviously Following, from following strict biodynamics, this meant no more manure, the, all the different preparations that were prepared in the, in the various animal parts. And we have had an evolution now where we're doing everything plant-based. So it's all green manures. Here in the vineyards, we every October, November, we come through and we are sowing about 25 to 30 different types of seeds in between alternating rows. Um, you can see some of them are now starting to grow. You've got all the different types of legumes. You've got your different types of grains, your brassicas. You've got many, many different types of plants that serve many of the micro roles in the vineyards. Um, but at the end of the day, we want as much biodiversity as possible. We want different parts growing at different times. And that will then all come and mow it down and wait for it to decompose and then work it into the soil. And this way we're getting our nitrogen, our nutrients, um, we're getting structure, maintaining structure in the soil, we're catching the runoff of the rain, obviously there's no irrigation so we need these to catch the runoff during during the winter. Um, but not only that, not only all these micro rolls, but we, I mean you can see all of the bees that are already flying around here, we, we want as, as much biodiversity in between the rows as possible and with this biodiversity we're finding there's a better balance across the vineyard. You'll see now all of the bud bursts is starting to happen and on the steep slopes the bud burst is happening right across homogeneously when the vines start to grow they're growing at the same speed when it starts to ripen there it is homogeneous and for us this is very very important we're finding that there's more balance in the vineyards and also in the wines and this is the, for this reason we're continuing like this and, and everything is going fantastic and we're making world-class wines and, and the owner of the winery is happy and we're happy and, and for that reason we're following, we're continuing like this. So you've seen a discernible difference from from changing the type of biodynamics to the plant-based? So I wasn't, I arrived here in 2010, ah. in July 2010 we, we had the changeover. Um, I can, from from what I can see in, in, in the wines and in the, what we're tasting in that, there is, there is a better balance in the wines and whether it is because the vines are coming of age, I'm not too sure, but we're finding that things are, are working better. The harvests are, the, the grapes are um, healthier, and um, we've had a few challenging vintages over the last few years, and yet we've still had exceptional quality grape, and we have a fantastic agronomist, Dallas Alessandro, who's paying a lot of attention to detail in all of the different vineyards, but over the course, I mean, we've had a very, <laughs> some very, very challenging vintages, and yet we've still been able to produce amazing quality wines and I think that's a testimony to to, to the vineyard work that's been done and, and to, uh, to Sebastiano for pushing us in, in this direction. You've worked all over the world in yep. different winery environments, different vineyard environments. Is Would you, if you were to start your own vineyard, be a committed by the nemesis or? <clears throat> Absolutely, for sure. You, you're, what we're doing here in the vineyards is we're planting the foundation here for our children's children's children. These vines are going to grow for 60, 80, 100 years, whatever. And what we put in and what we spray and what we're using in the vineyards right now is going to affect the people who come after us. So I think in starting off green, organic, biodynamics, whatever you want to call it, it is the future for sure. In the region, it's the future. Um, and I think the more people who are converting to organics or biodynamics, it's better for us. I think there's a lot of people who are doing it for marketing reasons also. <laughs> That's fine for me, as long as they're spraying less rubbish in the vineyards, less poisons, getting more bees coming into the vineyards, we're, we're all happy. Um, it's, it's challenging, obviously your, your costs are 20 to 30 percent more expensive, um, but at the end of the day, for us it's about the quality of the wine and how we are leaving nature for our children's children and, and it's working for us really good. So. Perfect.